Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported the files, required for this project. You can download them from the link given in the description. Now let's create product promo, create a new composition. Here I will name it as product preview. Time duration to 5 seconds, and remaining all will be same. Now let's start with creating background layer. Create a new solid, name it as background, in effects and preset, search for fill, add it to solid layer. Here I will set background color to black. Now from project panel, let's add brush transition media file to timeline. Add fill effect to brush transition, you can see the preview. Here if you want you can set any color of your choice. Now from project panel, add the background image to the timeline. For this background layer, search for tint effect, add it to the background layer. Change map white color. Now again add the brush transition to the timeline. For background layer, we will change track matte to alpha matte brush transition. You can see the preview. Let's slightly adjust the position of brush transition. Now you can see the preview. Perfect. Here our background layer is created. Select all layers. Pre-compose them. Name it as background. Perfect. Now select the ellipse tool. Make sure fill option is set to none. Stroke option is set to solid color. Now create shape as shown. To create perfect circle, press Ctrl plus Shift while creating circle. Perfect. Now here we will increase the stroke value. Set it to near about 350. Perfect. Let's position the shape layer 1, at corner. Make sure the anchor point is at center. Now for shape layer. At 1 second, press S to bring up scale. Create keyframe for scale. Change scale value to 0%. At start. Let's increase the scale value. Increase it till the shape is outside the frame. Perfect. You can see the preview. To make this effect fast, you are free to adjust the keyframes. Select created keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Adjust the speed graph as shown. Perfect. Now let's create duplicate of this layer. Press Ctrl plus D to create duplicate. Place this layer at 5 frames. For layer 2, in effects and preset, search for gradient ramp. Add it to the shape layer. Adjust the start and end color. Here you can set any color of your choice. Set ramp scatter value to 500. For shape layer 2, for the end keyframe of scale. I will set the scale value to near about 90%. Perfect. 
perfect. Now let's create duplicate of shape layer 2. For shape layer 3, we will position it at 10 frames. Now let's change the gradient color. For this shape layer, we will adjust the start and end keyframe. For end keyframe, adjust scale value as shown. Now at start of the timer line, change scale value to 0%. For shape layer 3, we will position the keyframe at 25 frames. Perfect. Now from project panel, let's add the product image to timeline. You can scale your image if needed, here I will slightly scale my image file. Perfect. Now let's pre-compose it. Name it as product. For this product composition, in effects and preset, search for fill. Add it to the product composition. Here you can set color of your choice. This is background layer, so you can set any color of your choice. Now for product composition, in effects and preset, Search for position. Add wiggle position to product composition. Here we will set wiggle speed to 10. Wiggle amount to 25. You can see the wiggle effect is added. At one second. For product composition, press P to bring up position. Create keyframe. At start of the timer line, change position for product as shown. Place it outside the frame. You can see the preview. Now select created keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Adjust the speed graph as shown. For product composition, press R to bring up rotation. At one second, create keyframe for rotation. At start, change rotation to minus 45 degrees. Select created keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. You can see the preview. Now create duplicate of product composition. Press Ctrl plus D to create it. Change the fill color. Perfect. Now again create duplicate. For this duplicate, we will remove all the effects added. You can see the preview. Here we will change the product mode to screen. Select both compositions. Parent it to above composition. Here we will slightly adjust the position of the product composition on the timeline. Place it at distance of 2 or 3 frames. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's add our text. Here I am using Uni Sans font family. Font style to heavy caps. Here for my text layer, I will make few changes. Make sure paragraph alignment is set to left. Here I will set font style to italic.
perfect. Now let's animate the text layer. In animate, select tracking. At start. Create keyframe for offset. At 1 second, change offset to 100%. Select created keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Adjust the speed graph as shown. Let's add, property, opacity. Set opacity to 0%. Let's view as individual layer. You can see the preview. Here we will set tracking amount to minus 100. For animator 1, let's add property position. Here we will adjust the position value for x axis. Adjust in such a way that the text layer is outside the frame. Perfect. Now let's position this layer at one second. For this text layer, if you want to set any other color, you can add fill effect. And set any color of your choice, you can also add gradient ramp effect. Now let's add the subtext. Here you can add the description of your product, about your product, or any sale details. Reduce the font size. Change font style to thin it alec. Here if you want you can also highlight the text. Now let's animate this text layer. For text layer. In animate, select tracking. At start of the timeline. Let's preview individual layer. Create keyframe for offset. At 1 second, change offset to 100. Select created keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Adjust the speed graph. For text layer let's add, property, opacity, set opacity to 0%. In advance, change based on two words. Now position the text layer at distance of one second and ten frames. From project panel, add brush file to timeline. Position it here. We will place it at distance of one second. In effects and preset, search for tint, add tint to brush layer. Here you need to change, map white color. Here you can set color of your choice, or you can set it from the composition. Let's add the price tag. Here I will set font style to heavy italic caps. Increase the font size to match the brush layer. Perfect. Add fill to the text layer. Here you can set any color of your choice.
we will place it at position where our brush effects start to reveal. Go few frames forward, press T to bring opacity. Create keyframe for opacity. At start of the layer, change opacity to 0%. You can see the preview. Now let's see the complete project preview. Perfect. You can also add the particle file provided. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then make sure to like and share this video, and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.